hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would do a little um homeware haul for you guys it is all from a brand called Methylam, which you probably already know but they actually do a really really good homeware range which is super super affordable it's all you know within a really good budget and it's all really trendy as well it's all really trend pieces i often find on metalan home a lot of the stuff does go out of stock really quickly but you can put your email in to get updates and um, of whether something's going to come back into stock and they also if something does really well they also bring it out in maybe other styles or they keep bringing the same style back again and again so it's definitely definitely worth checking out their um, website again and again for things if you you know if they're going out of stock and and you really want to get hold of something i always get asked about my planters i have white ones and black ones um i'll add some shots here as well in case you want to see um, what they look like but they're usually in the back of all my videos and stuff i always get asked where they're from and they're from matalan home i have a lot of stuff from matalan home i have some um, ma macrame or macrame, I don't know how to pronounce it, hangers as well from um, Matalan Home. I always get compliments on my stuff from Matalan Home and um, I thought I'd share with you a few pieces that they have sent over to me very kindly. They did send this over as a PR sample but I don't have to feel any sort of way about any of the products. I'm just going to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys. Also, um, obviously some of the stuff is around my house already and I don't want to have to, like some of them are like big lamps and stuff and I don't want to unplug it. So what I'm going to do is add little cutaways here showing the pieces around about my home and then the smaller items I can actually show you because I have them like here with me. <laughs> okay so the first item in the haul is actually the blanket that I'm cuddling up with. It's such a gorgeous little teddy blanket so it has like a nude side on that side and then a cream side on the other and it's really big. I can't even get it all in the shop but it's really really big and I just love it for like snuggling up when I'm editing, put it on the sofa, it covers both me and Alex if we're on opposite sides of the sofa doing our own thing which is literally perfection in terms of like a blanket for us because if he is like doing something on his laptop over there, I'm doing something on my phone over there but we want to be like connected, it's a really nice size for that, I think they have it in other colours as well. I'll link everything down below but I really really enjoy this one it's super cozy and I mean it's exactly what you look for in a blanket it's soft cozy and it's really affordable as well I don't think it was more than 30 pounds sorry I just checked it was 20 pounds so it's actually definitely cheaper than 30 pounds and I think it's so 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 worth the money it's ridiculous next up we have a little friend look oh my god it's so it's a little trailing succulent leopard planter so it's um ceramic and then this is obviously like fake um hanging pearls and stuff but i just think it's so cute it's a cat um yeah i love it look at the paws like, i can't look at the paws ah oh uh, actually no like you guys know i'm obsessed with everything cat and me and alex are getting a cat eventually after lockdown ends and we can go and see some cats we're gonna get a cat but until then we have this isn't it just the cutest it is so cute it was 10 pounds 10 pounds i think it's definitely worth the money um it just looks really cute you don't need to look after it as well I, i've spoken to so many people that are like well, i want to have like hanging plants i want plants in my home but i kill everything and um i have a weirdly green thumb and things just grow alex thinks it's so strange but um I, I'm really good with plants and I know some people aren't and um, this is a really nice alternative I think they do some other um, succulents and stuff like faux succulents I'll leave links down below to the ones I can find anyway but they're really really good back in our first flat I actually bought loads of fake plants from Matalan Home because they just they're just great for when you're too busy to look after plants or you're just again like I said you're not very good with plants in our first apartment we had a really bad kind of air filtration system and the air was so dry that all of my plants were dying. <laughs> so um, I had loads of faux plants from Athelan Home um, and I shared them on Instagram and everyone was always asking like, oh my God, I love your plant. And I'm like, it's not real. Um, this one doesn't look exactly the most real, but from like far away when it's like sound a shelf. I mean, come on, it's so cute. Next up, we have an over the door hanger. If like me and you haven't got enough places to hang things i love hanging things up like i've got a coat hung up just out of shot like this is a coat hung up there just why not i don't i don't know why i haven't put it in the wardrobe but it's there i love hanging <laughs> i love like i love doing it yeah so like i hang towels and stuff over doors it's the thing it's something i do and i have one of these on the back of pretty much every door in our house and now i have one for this room so it's actually going to go on the door back there that door there 
over the top of that and all that and I just thought it's such a nice addition to this room. I have a lot of starry stuff in this room so if you do watch my um, uh, videos normally in the background I've got a metal hanging thing there, a garland even, a garland, I've got a poster, I've got two posters actually, um, prints with moons on and then I actually have another print right here with phases of the moons on, I really do resonate with phases of the moon, um, I've already ordered a tapestry with the moon on which I can't wait to arrive as well which I might put here by the door, so yeah it's all gonna work out and I just thought this is a really nice addition to go over the door, like it's the cutest um, over the door hanger I've ever seen. This one was only £6 and I think that's absolutely <laughs> such a bargain. Um, I particularly like it because it's gold, a lot of stuff like this only comes in like silver and then probably rose gold as an additional colour, but I, um, I love gold, a lot of the details in this room are gold, so this works for me and for £6, such a bargain. Okay, so you guys know I moved into a new place obviously um so we needed some like essential kind of bits as well so one of the things i picked up was a doormat and i just thought this is the cutest little leopard print doormat it also has um by the way i haven't used this yet it's still got the tag on which is why i'm touching it otherwise it'd be a bit unsanitary it was eight pounds by the way it's just a doormat with like a black backing on it and it also has like these little glittery goldy bits on there if you guys can see that i'm not sure how long they're gonna last on there but um i really do hope they last like a decent amount because they it looks really cute but i'm not sure like if loads of people are standing on it how long are these glittery bits gonna last but then again it doesn't really bother me because it's leopard print and um i think that that pattern would last so i'm really really happy with it for the price and yeah i mean it's it's the doormat Okay, so this item I'm going to show you guys, um, we haven't, I was planning to get it up in time to film this video, but um, alas, we did go to Sainsbury's, we did our weekly shop, and they had run out of bulbs, like light bulbs, like light bulbs <laughs> that go in the lights. Um, they've run out of all the light bulbs, so I haven't been able to put this up. I was going to show you with it up. Hopefully by the time this goes up, I will have a cutaway to show you of it actually up. And if it is, it will go here. And if not, then I'll cut this from the video. But basically it's a rattan kind of lampshade. Can you see it there? There we go, that's better. So it's like a rattan lampshade. And I think it's just the cutest thing. The reason why I have to get a new bulb in this room is the bulb that we had in here was a filament bulb and those bulbs get very hot and obviously this is wicker, you can't put this near a normal bulb, it has to be with an LED and it does come with a warning on the packet that like you need to put in an LED um, a light bulb if you want to use this lamp and um, it's a dimmable um, switch in this room so I've been looking for an LED dimmable um, BCC bulb and I can't find one. Um, in, I couldn't find one in Sainsbury's, they were completely sold out. I mean, I don't even know why I was looking. It was, literally was just um, rows of empty like shelving <laughs> where the bulbs were. But um, I'm really excited to get this up. I think it's gonna look really cute in here, up there on the ceiling. And I think it just like be a nice addition to this room because we have, um, I say it's a bit of an issue. It's not really an issue. We have very high ceilings in this house, which is a bit wasted on me because I'm five foot two but it just means we have a lot of wall to work with and sometimes it feel, feels like it's like empty space if you know what I mean, like it's very um, empty up there. So I think by putting this, it'll kind of like bring the ceiling down a little bit and it'll feel a bit more cozy and um, a little less empty. So I'm really excited to get this up. This one was 20 pounds and I do feel like it was worth 20 pounds. There's a lot of detail that's gone into it. That's the fitting by the way. It does come with an adapter like a, um, metal thing it's just over there but I'm not going to hold it it's too too faffy um, but this is what it looks like um, and it has a lot of detail put into it it's quite fragile but I think once it's up it's going to look really nice okay so the next few pieces I'm going to talk to you about are like scattered around the house so I'll add like little clips of what they look like but one of them is a rattan floor lamp and it's basically it's this black floor lamp with black legs and um, like a big rattan dome around it and the wire goes all the way through the metal legs down to the bottom so it doesn't just like hang there which I think is really nice it did take me a while to put it together it wasn't the easiest thing to put together I will say that I kept thinking I was going to break it because you have to kind of pull the wire through the um, metal legs of the lamp 
and at one point I was like I'm not sure I should be doing this I think it's gonna break but it was totally fine like went together fine I it was just a bit of an effort to put together it um, also requires an LED bulb because it is um, rattan so it is wooden so um, please do <laughs> if you do buy one put in an LED bulb anything wooden because you don't want to have a filament um, bulb in there and for it to get hot and then be a fire hazard it was 70 pounds and I do feel like for a floor lamp that's a pretty standard price I don't think that's um, anything it, it's not very expensive I was looking originally at floor lamps at about maybe 200 um, and that's even just on places like Argos and you know, Amazon and stuff this one looks really stylish it looks a lot more expensive than 70 pounds it looks quite designer and when I actually brought it into the living room plugged it in Alex was like that that is literally what this room needed. And I was like, oh, thank God. Because sometimes he, like, sometimes I get stuff and I bring them back and he's like, what the hell is that? So yeah, he really liked it as well. So it gets the Alex mark of approval, which rarely ever happens with things that I pick out. So yeah, um, it gives a really nice light. It's very glowy and it's not too intense, but it's also enough to be, um, bright enough to like read or go on your phone with. Sometimes I find that lamps can be a bit dark and they're only on for like ambient light but this is like at natural light that you can use and you can read and you can do stuff while it's on and stuff so yeah i really like it next up is a another lamp but this one is the Averglass lamp and it's 50 pounds and it is well, obviously add a clip here it's a glass lamp with like metal kind of art deco style and i absolutely love it like when i saw it online first i was like i need that it's so nice. It's actually just behind the camera, like there. I've swapped out the um, lampshade with another lampshade that I bought at Dun Elm. And I think it looks a bit nicer for this room. I did have the more natural shade that it came with on there and it just didn't it just it wasn't right. Like I could just tell like it wasn't what I was looking for. And as soon as I put the white kind of cream one on there with a bit of texture it really did kind of finish off the look i really love the way it looks um i probably need a little bit of a brighter bulb in there for my preference for being in here because it's my only like small lamp i want to get a desk lamp to go here but i haven't quite got there yet but i really really like it i can't i, I cannot like fault this lamp it was 50 pounds but um you know that's the kind of price you pay for um any sort of lamp that's got a bit of style to it obviously if you go to ikea and you get a basic lamp it's going to be cheaper than 50 pounds this one has a lot of style to it i love that it's very art deco and i think it complements the room really nicely we have a very like um gold theme going out through this room like all of the hardware is very gold and i like that it complements my mirror the um vase over there and everything else in my room that's like gold it like complements it and yeah i really really like it i think it looks so much more expensive than it is Last but not least, we have a round hanging leatherette mirror. It was £20 and I think that it's definitely worth the money. It feels a lot more expensive than it is. I was looking for something like that. Even in places like The Range, Darnell, B&M, me and Alex went on a hunt before lockdown trying to get as much like homework stuff as possible and I couldn't find one that was like a black hanging mirror in any of those places that was under 30 pounds and this one was 40 so i definitely think that it was is worth the money it has a really nice thick leather strap as well which i really like it's not like like small and like flimsy and i did i really didn't want it to be like rope themed because I, th I feel like that leans a little bit more nautical than i want to go so i like the leather wrap the leather wrap um strap i think that's really really modern and it also has kind of a bit of an industrial feel to it so yeah i really really like it for those who want to know it's 40 by 40 so 40 by 40 um and it also comes in a natural color which is like a cream with like a tan leatherette strap which is not the color scheme we were going for but it is it is an option yeah it is an option and it looks really nice I can't argue with that, it's a mirror that does its job and it looks really nice and I think for the price it's it's really really cheap and if you're looking for um, hanging mirrors in general or just mirrors in general, Matalan like dropped some really really nice mirrors, I'll leave links down below but I've seen this gold one, I'm looking at it right now and it is stunning, it's a stunning stunning mirror so I'll leave links down below to those as well. The only problem is because they're so nice they do go out of stock really quickly so if you do like something bag it because it will go there have been times when especially with bedding on Matalan Matalan bedding goes out of stock so quickly I put like five 
like duvet sets in my basket and I was like okay these are my all my new bed sheets because I've been using the same bed sheets for like three years and they're getting a bit old and stained with like coffee stains and tea stains and stuff and um they all went out of stock within 24 hours I was flabbergasted <laughs> I'm shocked, like hurt. It was a moment. So yeah, if you like something, get your hands on it because stuff goes out of stock on Matalan so quickly and you never know when they're gonna bring stuff back into stock, which is also a little bit gutting, but it means that like when you get something, you know that you've got a really good bargain and it's a really lovely piece that you're going to like cherish and enjoy. And their stuff ages really well, <laughs> like genuinely. I actually um, sold some of my, um, Massalan fake plants because we have so many real ones now um and they were literally in exactly like new condition as when i got them like two or three years ago so i must say everything has aged so well it doesn't wear very quickly and i think it's really good quality for that reason that is everything in my Matalan homeware haul i hope you guys enjoyed some affordable homeware i know that i often watch hauls and people say oh, it's an affordable homeware and then they show things that are like £200 a piece and I'm sitting there like affordable for whom? So <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this haul um, some fun stylish pieces to get out your home with and it doesn't have to break the bank you just have to be really patient and kind of grab the opportunity when it arises especially on sites like Matalan when things go out of stock so quickly you just have to grab what you want when it comes back into stock or it comes in stock always check new in I always find some really cool pieces in new in as well and um, like I said I can vouch for the quality for me nothing I've ever had from Matalan has ever fallen apart or broken or anything like that I still have some mirrors and stuff from Matalan that I've kept um yeah I would definitely recommend them for some stylish well priced pieces that have a lot of style and are often trend pieces as well which I think is great if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in my next video bye